Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and I'm really excited today to show you my whole stay at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. The Flamingo has an amazing location. It is a Caesars property. I was there for 10 days and tried four different resorts. Today, we're gonna be checking out the Flamingo. It's the Pink Hotel. And it has flamingos and a really awesome pool as well. And one of the best features about the Flamingo Hotel is it's right on the monorail line, which is really, really super cool. On this 10 day trip, three out of the four hotels I stayed at were right on the monorail line. So I use this as the, my main means of transportation to get around to see all the great resorts. The monorail runs from MGM to Sahara. It is on the east side of this strip. So if you're staying in one of those wonderful hotels, this would be a great option for you to get around. When I arrived at the Flamingo Hotel, they had the regular check-in and they also had the kiosk. I went to the kiosk and they said my room would not be ready till four o'clock. However, if I did want to check in early, there would be an additional fee, but I decided to go explore instead. So we're gonna go check out the situation here. Their main showroom has the RuPaul Drag Queens. I watched this TV show, so I was really excited about it. Unfortunately, I never got to go see it. You could buy tickets right here. Tap, scan, and purchase. How easy is that? <laughs> Gotta love modern technology. The biggest problem I had with the four o'clock check-in thing was like, there really wasn't anything to do. There was nowhere to sit. This was the lobby bar. It was kind of like, you know, a few seats with, you know, <laughs> slot machines in there, of course. <laughs> it's like, come into my casino, come spend money while you wait for your room. We're gonna take a look at some of the food options and then I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you the room and we're gonna go out to the outdoor pool. A vending machine with cake. I mean, what a, an amazing <laughs> idea. Great for late night snacks after a hard night of partying. I'm going to take you through a little walk through the food court so you can see what they offer there. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. As a bonus, the food court is conveniently located right next to the slot machines. There's a game there that I love called Ocean Magic. I play that when I'm in Connecticut at Foxwoods. So now the tables have turned and now I'm pretty grateful I didn't check in before four because I wouldn't have won this extra money. But it is four o'clock now and we're gonna go check in. I went to the kiosk and I was able to check in right away. I'm not sure if my room would have been ready earlier than four. I waited till four to check in. I booked the cheapest room they had on the Caesars app. I paid $8 plus resort fee, which was like $35, $40. And because of the cheap price, I was very, very pleased with the accommodations. I thought they were very, it was very big and spacious feeling. Um, it was very clean. Um, you know, had its things, which I'll show you later, but it really was a pretty nice room for what I paid. The bedding and the pillows were really nice. I had a nice sleep here. I had just come from the Mirage. <laughs> Biggest difference was they had four pillows and not two. <laughs> Big problems, right? Um, it, was, it was a nice sleep though. It was really comfortable. Now for a very important part, let's go check out the Las Vegas view. Like I said, I, I booked the cheapest room, so I really am not expecting much, but it really wasn't a bad view at all. Down below, you can see Carlos and Charlie's where we're gonna dine later. There is the high roller right there. That is the Link Hotel. And to the right is the Hilton Vacation Club. And we have a distant view of the pool as well. So, you know, for the cheapest room, I didn't do too bad. 
The room comes with a kick-ass stereo system, which could be good and bad. It could be great for you, but bad if your neighbors are using it very loudly. <laughs> Luckily, in my case, that wasn't a problem. The decor and the theming, I absolutely loved. I loved all the lighting. The lighting in there was perfect. Out of the four resorts that I stayed in this week, this was definitely my favorite room. I really just enjoyed the feeling of it. It was very glam. It felt very big and open. It had sliders that went into the bathroom. I'd like to add too that this was the actually the only room that I stayed in this week that I actually didn't want to leave. <laughs> I was kind of like, no, I really like, so I don't know if that says a lot for the room or it doesn't say a lot for the resort itself. I'm really not sure, but I really just really loved being in this room. All right, now we're going to go check out the pool. I will be back to show you more of the problems and the things that I loved about the room after that. Okay, let's go take a walk outside. It is a Wednesday. It is late August. It's like 110 degrees out. <laughs> I chose the Flamingo to stay at because the price, the location, and the pool. Uh, the pool is great, and I really just wanted, you know, as someone that has a YouTube channel, a travel YouTube channel, I wanted to be able to film this, so here we are. I'm gonna keep it raw so you could hear the natural sounds of the pool. Bear in mind, this is now five o'clock probably, and it's the end of the day, so a lot of people and guests have left for the day, so it's gonna be a little quieter there than it probably typically is. brown and cream colored uh, building back there is the Hilton Vacation Club, which is more like a timeshare. You're going to get more like, you know, a kitchen and bedrooms and it's going to be more like an apartment style thing. But if you stay there, you get access to the Flamingo Hotel facilities, which I didn't know at the time, but that is very cool. Also walking around outside at the Flamingo, you'll find this little oasis where you can find, you know, sculptures of flamingos and you'll also see real ones as well. Okay, it's dinner time now. I thought I would, you know, treat myself to dinner. You know, it's weird dining solo, but, you know, sometimes you got to eat. <laughs> so I went to Carlos and Charlie's. I dined outside, and I had the fajitas. It was a happy hour, so it was buy one, get one free, whatever you ordered. So I ordered a beer, and they gave me two. Um, it was good. I mean, it, you know, it wasn't the best fajitas I ever had, but it was, you know, it was good. All right, now I'm going to take you back upstairs and go check out the view at night. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, seriously, this, for the cheapest room, I don't know if this is the standard for cheapest room or if I did get an upgrade, not really sure, <laughs> but it was pretty cool. I love they had a stereo. I didn't personally use it, but that's really cool. Little problems like these little dings in the wall, like little scuff marks. It was ice build up in the refrigerator, but hey, there was a refrigerator. <laughs> I loved that these windows, they had like a control that you could open the drapes. It, it was really cool. I thought that was an awesome um, effect. <laughs> I love the lighting. I love the glam. I love the wallpaper. It reminded me of ice cream. <laughs> it had marble and I love the pot pink. It was just a really nice decorated room. Probably the biggest problem I had this night was the standing on the sofa over here. You know, it wouldn't stop me from staying there again for sure. But I just didn't want to sit on it because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> 
I would have went to go see the RuPaul uh, Drag Race show, but it's dark on Wednesday night, so there was no show. So I just had an early night, just went to bed, had a beautiful sleep, and just like that, it's morning. Come join me for a walk as I go look for a coffee. Here is a look at some breakfast options while staying at the Flamingo. And because I'm an explorer at heart and I'm completely nosy, I had to go next door and check out the Cromwell. If you're interested in this property, I have a full video of my walkthrough of this resort as well. You can find the video in the playlist I'll leave at the end of this video and in the description below. The Cromwell is quite different than the Flamingo. It's very close, but it's very sexy. It's a very like almost burlesque feeling. I like to add the what's next to the hotel I'm staying at, just because it should factor into where you stay. You know, what is close to it? Where, where can you go other than the hotel? So while we continue this morning tour, we're gonna go on the other side of the Flamingo now and do a brief walkthrough of the Link experience, which I will be making a full video of that in the near future. So even though basically, in my opinion, I think the Flamingo and the Cromwell both are lacking in dining experiences, this makes up for it. This has everything. A little pro tip, I have learned that the Flamingo, the Cromwell, and the Link Hotel that is connected to this right here are all owned by Caesars. So if you get and apply for the Caesars card, they're like player's card online, and then you use that to book your room, you can get discounted rates. Now for a little early morning walk to go see the flamingos, real and fake. <laughs> Definitely a bonus staying here. It's just like this little, like, little tropical feeling in the crazy madness of Las Vegas. It's a nice little escape. Gotta love the pink garbage cans. <laughs> I just love that. I'm still on a search for some coffee. Not that I haven't found any places yet. It's just I just haven't stopped because I've been so excited about, you know, filming everything but I did find a place that's down where you like enter the pool they have a little to go kind of market over there good to know if you're on your way to the pool and you want to go get some snacks I brought my coffee up to our room gotta go pack now we're gonna be going to MGM I'm gonna be spending a night there and I'm gonna be doing a full tour of that that place is massive look out for a full tour of the MGM in the near future. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, can you do me a big favor and please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and like this video. I would be very grateful. A little peek into the RuPaul store on our way out. And there's also this, this store was really great. The prices were so cheap. I had bought a beautiful sweatshirt for $15, a pair of sunglasses for three, a Las Vegas tote bag for five, I had to watch, I had to stop because I had to like be able to pack all this stuff on my way home. One last peek at the pool before we hit the monorail to go to MGM. And my final thoughts, I really enjoyed the Flamingo. I think the location is fabulous, love the room. Food options could improve, but you know, you have the Link Experience right next door, so it really doesn't matter. You're right on the monorail, huge plus right there. The price was right and the pool is amazing. Makes it a rock solid win for me. I, I actually, really enjoyed my stay there and I would definitely stay there again. If you are still with me, thank you so much. You are a true rock star. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I really hope you enjoyed the video and feel inspired to go see Vegas. It's awesome. Don't miss out. Go do it. It's great. You'll have a blast. Be well to yourself and be kind to others and safe travels to you. Oh, and... Good luck in the casinos.